Welcome now to Talk of the Nation. Thank you for joining us. And for you who's just joining us tonight, I am Sandra Twinovio together with Maureen Nambalira on the sign language and you're watching NTV Weekend Edition. Well, once again, the Ministry of Education released the UCE results on Friday yesterday. And we noticed that there was uh, the continued poor performance of students in the science subjects. And tonight, we do want to understand the reason behind this poor performance. And in our studios tonight, we are privileged to have um, Richard Job Matua, a biology teacher. Welcome to Talk of the Nation tonight. Thank you very much. First and foremost, I do know that your school performed uh, properly well. Is that correct? Very correct. Uh, who was your worst performing? What was your worst mark in, the, in, this, uh, in any of the subjects, of the science subjects? Our worst was credit six. Credit six. And our best is distinction. So you had a number of distinctions. Yes. What would you say is, but would you agree to the fact that we do see consistent poor performance of students in the science subject? Yeah, thank you very much. In the first place, I would like to take this opportunity to thank uh, NTV for leading on uh, international issues, mm. discussing the result, which is the a core aspect of academic, is very important. We appreciate that. Mm. Number two, I would like to extend my sincere thanks to the Minister of Education and Sports, mm. headed by Mama Janet Museveni. There are very many positives we are registered in the education sector mm. under her regime. Mm. So we are very grateful. And lastly, I would like to thank uh, Examination Secretary UNEB and he, the entire team in UNEB for work well done. Mm. I want to return to your question and to the country that I want to sincerely discuss this. Number one, sciences are very easy. Nobody must ever tell students that actual sciences are difficult. However, the pedagogy, I mean the method and practice of teaching the sciences mm. must be reviewed to ensure that actuality delivers the result. I have six basic issues to discuss before, to that effect. Uh, Mr. Richard, before we even talk about the different things that they can do yes. to actually make sure that students can perform better in the science subjects, we basically want to understand from your point of view, because yes. your school performed well, yes. but you also agree that other schools in general performed poor, poorly in the science subjects. What yes. would you say are the main reasons for that? Very good. This takes me to what we must do to improve the performance of sciences. Number one, the country must deliberately promote practical teaching of science subjects. So in your uh, opinion, what, yes. we are not uh, doing a lot of practical uh, work in the sciences. Actually, what is happening now in our schools is that the teaching of science is more theoretical than the okay. practical aspect. What do I mean by practical teaching? This does not mean taking the student to laboratory every time, no. Effective use of a laboratory is one aspect of it. Then every concept must be demonstrated practically. In subject like chemistry, the question will say substance X reacts with substance Y, then it producing a gas a Z. Mm. Eh? State what was observed and write the equation. Now, if you did not see, it becomes another mystery. That is one. Two, there is a need to establish subject-based associations in sub-regions of the country which can undertake uh, competence build development in our teachers. Okay. Competence is something which you can, you, the teachers cannot gain at the university. What, in exactly, fact, what exactly do you mean competence? Do you think our schools you know, are competence having... Competence is about efficiency and, the, and the effectiveness of delivery. Mm. That takes uh, another in-depth understanding of the, of the subject matter, which mm. cannot be at the university or in the training institution. Okay. So there is a need to, to orient the teachers on specific areas and how best they can be delivered. So you're saying it, it cannot be received at the university. The teachers cannot receive this. In fact, the, the uh, university. Less where can they receive this training that you think will help them provide the students with enough information to allow them pass the Very same subjects? So there is a need for continuous in-service training of our teachers mm -hmm. until they can reach a level of competence that is proficient enough to mm -hmm. deliver the results. Okay. I have another issue, recruitment of science teachers. It's very, very crucial in this country. This is, a, this is something the nation knows, but nobody cares for it. Mm. I want to declare it here that it is a national crisis. That it, doesn't, it just needs us less than 100 billion okay. to recruit the minimum number of science teachers that can do service for this country. Hold on over there, um, uh, Mr. Richard. Do you, why, you're trying to say that we have few teachers of, of the sciences. 
first and foremost, according to you, what is the reason behind that? Is it because the government is not recruiting them or because we actually do not have them? Very good uh, question, my sister. This very television and TV ran a series of news about uh, miseducation in eastern Uganda. And I thank you very much for doing so. And if you reflect back on what you, any TV aired out, actually the science teachers are very few in the government schools we have. So even the few are overstressed and demotivated. Why do you think they are few? Very good. Why are they few? It is because the recruitment is not being done. The teachers are there. Okay. Yes. Interesting. So the teachers are there and the government is not recruiting science teachers yes. and yet we have few teachers in schools. In fact, we are, we are lacking 60% of science teachers mm -hmm. to be recruited in our government schools. This is a national crisis and yet we need less than 100 billion to have them recruited. Mm. What, we, do you think, what do you think other schools, taking you back to the question of poor performance, which we are t uh, answering tonight, Yes. Uh, what do you think are the other reasons teachers, for instance, you are a biology teacher and Correct. you're saying that your Correct. students uh, passed highly. Yes. What, are, what should other teachers watching us tonight probably pick from you so yes. that they can influence their students to perform better? Very good. The, the, uh, actually, there are a number of factors. I have already talked about uh, promoting practical teaching of the subject. That to actually right now, our teachers are more like teaching the sciences, like history is being taught, mm -hmm. telling the story making the subject to appear really abstract for the learner. But then, beside that, we must look at the issue of a school administrator, my mm -hmm. sister. Actually, majority of the school administrators are art teachers. How can they supervise the teaching of the science? It is like deploying a lawyer to, to monitor construction site. Mm -hmm. There must be technicality in observing this. Actually, I want the Ministry of Education to change the policy of recruiting school administrators. If the head teacher is an art teacher, then the deputy should be a science teacher. There must be a technical supervisor who can uh, oversee the teaching and learning process. Otherwise, the, the, the blind person can be misled. Interesting. So you, there's so many other reasons you're yes. mentioning. But I would also want us to talk about the attitude that students have towards uh, science subjects. Yes. What would be your opinion in regards to that? Do you think uh, over time students have sort of gotten a better attitude towards science subjects or has it stayed the same all through? Yes. Actually, before I go there, there is a crucial issue we must address. Science is very important and we know world over the importance of science. But our science teachers are being demotivated. Remember, we have less than uh, 60 per, no, 40 percent of our science teachers in enrollment in the government schools. Even the few are being demotivated okay. by very low salaries. Uh, low salaries. So, okay, yes, we, and we, I want, we totally get that. But we want to understand the attitude will, students have let me, let towards me, science subjects. Let me then go there. Mm. The attitude the students have towards sciences is imparted by the teachers themselves. So if the teachers are miserable, what do you expect them to communicate to the learner? So student attitude is actually triggered. It is the, is the incited, let me use that so word, by words, the teachers. In other words, Mr. Richard, you're saying that first the teachers are frustrated. They're frustrated, And then correct. they pass it on to the students. Yes. And hence the poor performance. Yes, to, to actually communicate scientific con uh, concept, you must be spiritually, physically, emotionally at the well state of balance. Hmm. Minus that. I tell you, it will be a job. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. So for teachers watching you tonight, yes. who believe, who are probably uh, looking at making sure that students within their own care can actually perform better, yes. what would a teacher like you who had students perform well tell them tonight? Very good. Thank you very much for that question. I still want to encourage our teachers to accept the challenge we have in the country of having a few number of science teachers in the country, especially in the government schools, that they should commit more for the good of our country. I am a patriot of this country. Mm. You see, the concept, scientific concept must be taught to the conviction of the learners, must be demonstrated so that the learner can have in-depth understanding of the concept. Mm. Because the assessment of science is the more likely different from assessment of arts. The assessment of arts 
promotes more of cramming, mm. but assessment of science promotes more of understanding. Okay. Yes. So to our viewers watching us tonight, please do share with us your thoughts on what you think can be done to improve the performance of science subjects in national examinations on our social media platforms, that is NTV Uganda on Facebook and NTV Uganda on Twitter. Moving on, uh, over to you, Richard, again. Yes. As what does the future of science subjects look like in Uganda? We've seen different important people in the country emphasize the fact that science subjects should also be prioritized yes. but over time many people concentrate on humanities what does the paint for us a picture of science subjects in the country i want to be very very objective on this uh, on this issue anybody who discourages science in uganda is a discouraging progress is discouraging development because our world has become science so whether we like it or not we must find a way mm. to do better in science. Do better in science. That one is a national objective and nobody must oppose it in any way. I want to tell you, if a student gets F9 in a subject, that does not mean that that student is stupid. Mm. Has gained the knowledge that the student can pick to use in life. I want to give you an example in my biology. After a student understanding the concept of uh, sex determination, then that student will make an informed decision on the sex of children, mm. he or she, is going to produce in future. Mm. So science, therefore, it must be cherished by everybody. Everything has gone scientific, even what we are doing here is a science. But do you think students should be forced or compelled to do compulsory, uh, to should have these subjects made compulsory? Do you think it's necessary? It is very, very necessary because I said, Anybody who doesn't like science is actually living in the past. Mm -hmm. Because our world has become science. Okay. Why should we leave them behind when the world is going science? So the world is going science, we yes. should be going that way. See, my phone, even the television, how are you really communicating to the Ugandan? <laughs> You're using Thank you. science. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. What are your last, very last remarks in just a short minute, in, in a few seconds? I want to remind the Ugandans to be positive towards their country and they commit to national aspiration. For now, it is about science. And everybody should do everything to encourage the uh, good performance of sciences in our country. Thank you so much for joining us on Talk of the Nation. And thank you too for joining us. And of course, this conversation stays online. We do ask you, we do want to hear from you. What do you think can be done to improve the performance in science subjects in national examinations? According to him, there are a number of issues. But I could also point out that he said there's a lot of teacher demotivation that is sort of passed on to the students and influences the poor performance. NTV Weekend Edition continues shortly.